Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming Lilith's nine month update. I cannot believe we're already so close to her turning a year old. It feels like the time is flying by and like I cannot handle. But there's a few milestones Lilith has reached um, in the six to nine month period and I just wanted to document these as I have done with my previous videos. Um, but without rambling and talking too much, I'm just going to get straight into it. So over these past three months since I last filmed a video, Lilith has began to sit herself up unaided, completely unaided, um, without the help from me and Dan. I'm going to try and record it so you can see it for yourselves. But obviously at first we helped her sit up and everything. It feels like literally just overnight she learned how to sit up on her own. Another thing that Lilith has accomplished is pulling herself up. I cannot believe my baby is already pulling herself up to the sofa and getting to mine and Dan's feet and tickling us. First started off with her kneeling or trying to kneel and just get our attention that way if we were sat on the sofa of an evening. Um, but now she full on pulls herself up all day every day and it's not just the sofa she's pulling herself up onto it's she's trying to pull herself up onto the TV unit um, Dan's PC chair the kitchen chairs the washing machine the cooker literally everything she can grab onto she's pulling and standing herself up so another thing she has learned to do is say mama and dada and baba um, mama was her first word and I'm so happy with that like it was my goal and there was the one thing I really wanted her to do was say mama first. I don't actually think she knows she's saying mama or dada or baba, but they're definitely words coming out of her mouth. And if we say, if we try and tell her to say mama or dada, she does repeat us. So she kind of has that understanding of repeating and following and just recreating the noises we're making with our mouth. But she's a talking baby and she doesn't actually shut up. Over the last couple of months as well, she's learned how to play with her tongue and make different noises with her mouth. Um, I'm gonna, again, try and just get clips of her doing this just to show you because if I try and show you, it's just gonna look hideous and really, really weird. Um, but she does like to make some weird noises with her mouth now. I cannot remember if I mentioned in the six month video, I can't even remember how long it's been, um, but she does have her two bottom teeth and she is getting two top teeth as well now. Um, but instead of them being the like top middle ones, they're the ones just to the side, which I personally am finding quite weird and um, I don't know many babies that have done this. But I don't think it's anything for us to worry about because we can kind of see where the teeth are in her gums. Um, in the middle but they're just not coming out yet I guess they will over time and with more food and stuff I guess they'll just come out whenever they want so Lilith's hair is definitely getting longer and messier and hell of a lot blonder we are finally losing that really dark bit at the back of her head um, which is kind of bit sweet I've always really loved it she's kept that since she was born and um, that was like her newborn hair but now she's slowly losing it I don't think she's actually losing it I think it's just like changing colour but she is slowly becoming a blonde baby, which me and Dan both were as children as well. Lilith now crawls, I think in the last one, she, in my last update, she was like kind of slugging or snaking around, but she is full on crawling. Again, I'm gonna insert a clip because it is just the cutest thing ever. Um, but we're a crawling baby. She's constantly crawling off into different rooms and I literally cannot keep my eye off her. I cannot take my eye off her for like more than two seconds. She's gone, she's super quick. Um, but that is something she probably learned about two months ago. So she's been doing it for a little while now, but um, nonetheless, it's still exciting. So we're slowly beginning to transition Lilith from her baby bottles onto sippy cups. Um, we don't do this with milk yet, but we do tr keep her hydrated throughout the day with water. She is actually really good with sippy cups. And I think if I was to stop using baby bottles altogether and just put her milk into a sippy cup, she'd actually be completely fine. So Lilith has definitely has her favourite foods at the moment. Um, they are unhealthy. Um, but whose favourite food is healthy, let's be honest. She, at the moment, loves Watsits and Maltesers, which I don't know how she's knowing she loves Maltesers, but um, she found a couple on the floor the other day, which is really gross. Um, I don't know what, she's kind of hit them and was eating them secretly. But she likes a Malteser. Um, she's still loving a Milky Bar as well. She quite likes Ice Pops and Ice Cream. And she also is still a very big fan of apples. And she's also turned to like my crumpets as well, which is slightly annoying because when I'm trying to eat my crumpets in the morning, she's there, she's pulled up at the sofa with her hands just going like that to try and get my crumpets. 
Lilith is currently sleeping from anywhere between 9 and 10 p.m. at night to 8 and 9 p.m. in the day uh, in the morning and her daytime naps vary it's very much up to her and I know a lot of people don't like it and they disagree with a baby setting their own napping schedule but she goes for and always does her she goes for her midday nap a bit between 11 and 12 and we do not miss that one ever and that one is always our most longest nap it can go on till about three o'clock sometimes if she's that tired um of an evening she might go down around six or seven but i do get a bit scared when she goes down for these naps because i don't like her to sleep for too long but my baby's always been very good at just distinguishing her own sleeping pattern and that is not something i'm going to try and dictate to her because if she's established herself a sleeping pattern why should I go in and change it? That is pretty much everything for this vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos like these. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.